This one must be just outrageous, huh? <laughs> but these are really cool. And those they? are super old, yeah. So those what the are, heck? <laughs> yeah, those are horse brand as well. They ban bottle rockets, but not canister shells. Like, <laughs> as, as if... like third and the fourth, like just imagine this store mm -hmm. is bare shelves. I mean, like oh, there's yeah, like, I mean, and there's a two hour wait to get in. Yeah. Wholesale fireworks right off of I-25 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we're here with Skyler today. And so I was going to ask you, uh, for the namesake here, wholesale fireworks. Do you sell fireworks by the case to the consumer? We do. Um, okay. We do sell fireworks by the case. Um, I'm in the process of getting uh, our e-commerce website. We just have kind of a generic website right now. I'm trying to get a much more uh, friendly website worked out right now. Sure. Um, you know, but we do. Uh, you just gotta, you know, call and ask for me, and uh, we okay. absolutely sell by the case. Um, a lot of that, though, does come from our headquarters in Laramie, because I mean, our massive. It's warehouse. a bit of larger store. Yeah, yep. larger store, larger storage. So I mean, yeah, yeah it's uh, like that's kind of where our logistically, it's the best way for us to. Yeah, to ship out. and I know I spoke with you before, and you were saying you've been in this industry for quite a long time. So. Um, how many locations in total do you think you have? So we have 15 total locations 15? and those range from uh, Wyoming where uh, like just about half of them are uh, and then Kansas is our second uh, with uh, you know we got about five and then uh, Colorado and South Dakota as well. So anyway um, we're gonna go inside and take a look at what kind of products they offer. As you can see they're open year-round and this is the Cheyenne location. Um, I think we're also gonna be taking a look at the Laramie Wyoming location tomorrow. Now I just see this banner right here. You've got many items for 99 cents each. In below, yes. So can we take a look at those right away? Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of that's yeah. cool. All right, so we've got so 99 cents and below. So I mean, we have a ton of our novelty stuff. I mean, we got yep. like the frogs, uh, flashing signals. Sure. So a ton uh, of novelties. Yeah, a ton. Oh, of novelties. these are kind of interesting. Are these old? Those are yeah, very those are old horse school. brand. Yeah, those are horse brand. Yeah. Wow. So uh, I will be showing you a lot of that interesting stuff yeah i love there. that yeah. i love that people uh, love to see that too we do have um we do have a little bit over here not too much mm -hmm. um i mean i have some old school uh thunder bomb bricks um I yep. have i'm some... a little too tall for this store <laughs> yeah you are i know yeah i didn't know how tall you were so this doesn't really work out oh, i ain't worried about watch, it watch your head it was when just we go this over thing here. right here <laughs> and then watch your head when we go over to the artillery oh, sure, later yeah. because uh these are still, I mean, they're UN0336. Yeah, they got the safe and sane. Yeah, safe and sane and everything. everything. Yeah, they're, vintage, yeah, they're a little vintage. Um, yep. Then we've got, like, your old school camellia flowers here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, and I've got some uh, DOT ones over there in Laramie. Mm -hmm. um, I've got uh, the jump shot. This is a Showtime. Oh, I've had product. these before. Yeah, a little yeah, crackling yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, it's a little crackling mine. Yeah, a little cool. crackling mine barrage type of thing. Oh, and um, I... I bought these at the Badlands one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You these are, yeah, these the, are kind of cool. Those, um, I have some, uh, the larger old school camellia flowers oh, yeah, here as well. And what is the brand on that? Is that Red Lantern? The or? Red Basket. Oh, okay. I always get that confused. Yeah, confused. Yeah, Because exactly. it's like Flower Basket is a brand Or Flower too. Basket. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So, and flower then basket. this is like Killer Bees here. Yeah, Killer Bees. We've got some yeah. old school violets and crimsons. So this is actually a pretty unique piece too. This is a, I carry some other Red Lantern products, mm -hmm. but this is very, very vintage. Yeah, um, it still is cool. uh, UN0336, so not DOT or ICC. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, these really, I didn't realize how valuable these are. These are really about 10 to $15 a unit. Yeah, and you got uh, them at I've got them at 495, yeah. right. Super um, cool. And these things are, I opened one of these up. These things are crazy how you light them. I mean, it's like, it's mm -hmm. nuts. Uh, but these are like a little spinner. Weird. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, i never really seen a piece I like love that. the interesting stuff like that, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like yeah. doing like a whole compilation video on that stuff, just taking a bunch of the interesting fireworks out and lighting yeah. them off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, so... I have some old school, uh, again, flower basket, just like these little wheels here. Yep. Some That's of cool. these old school ones here. Um, and then I don't know if you've had these. These are oh, kind of, yeah, yeah the, the golden, yeah, the golden <laughs> flowers. That's super uh, cool. Some old school junior cuckoos. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. And I have some DOT cuckoos over there in Laramie. So. 2 95 Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I have a feeling a lot of people will be coming just for this stuff. Yeah, yeah. and that's what, 
I mean, you would be, I mean, you're not amazed, you know, but honestly, these things right here, these old school sunflowers, oh, these yeah. are one of the best disc spinner, like spinners um, mm -hmm. that I've seen uh, really since like a speed ball, like or your old school zips. Yeah, I mean, they call them, yeah they, they call them a bunch of different stuff. And then I have some stuff like from Red Lantern. These aren't old, but um, oh, okay. I haven't well, been able. kind of an interesting. Yeah, so that. these actually have a report to them and I haven't seen mm -hmm. a lot of these buzz bombs um, have a report since they took them out of the uh, Peacemakers. Yeah. The Zenith is a Zenith product. And oh, okay, Zenith okay. makes a lot of really good stuff. Mm. Um, but, uh, and that's actually assembled in Joppa, Missouri. So, um, <clears throat> but, and then you have your old school. Um, oh, the Star Balls. Star Bar, yeah. Yeah, Star I Ball just used a ton of these together. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, and then we have some large ones, I believe, in Laramie. I have yeah. some old school. So these are the large plane flying at nights. And then we have like the old school small mm -hmm. uh, plane flying at night. Uh, those are pretty good as well. Um, and then like your old school bomber and reconnaissance oh, yeah, plane that. and then your old school bees. These ones here are the ones that drop the firecrackers. Firecracker, right? right. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, I want to fuse a bunch of those up. And and actually, um, these things, these the crystals. Crystal. Yeah, yeah, those are awesome too. Yeah. They're called something else too. Brothers makes them like the diamonds or whatever. Yeah. Magic yeah, diamonds. Ma yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, very cool. And this is also a cool one too. This is a brand new product by Cutting Edge this year, but it's a tri-layered spinner. So oh, detach here, then it uh, fuse embedded in here. You've got That's that bizarre. one. And then so it spins like constantly goes upwards three times right exactly wow. yeah so do you know the max height on that thing like how high does that um go? so that's i mean it's about 30 feet yeah yeah max height on that and then uh this actually resembles a product that black hat used to make but they discontinued it's called escape from mothership mm -hmm. uh and that was a two spinner but that flew off in a v these yeah. really fly off straight up so that's a that's a really cool product there too as well interesting Oh, and then I forgot about these. So what we're in right now is class seven. So these are, mm -hmm. um, you know, class uh, seven right now. But I mean, 95, um, you could date this back. I mean, 95 uh, mm -hmm. or 96. So, yeah, I mean, those, a lot of this stuff like that has you in is uh, very vintage stuff. So Yeah, very cool. Um, so, uh, that was the novelties. Now, is this actually a section or is this just for So this is power? for, yeah, yeah, back oh, okay, stock okay, over okay. here, yeah. Yeah, a lot of back stock. Okay, and then just so you guys are aware, all the novelty items that we just looked at was right over here. And I should say those pinwheels, those are actually pretty funny too because, I mean, not a lot of them anymore come with a, a nail, so those do, mm -hmm. I mean, those are... Oh, like these things school, are here? Yeah, they come with a nail, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so pretty pretty interesting. Nice, and then I noticed you got some of these little backpacks up yeah, here. Yeah, backpacks, yeah, I mean, those are... I Kids mean, love them. Yeah, definitely, I mean, then... I actually love doing this stuff, too, yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Never-ending. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, I mean, really, like, the novelty stuff, if you give, you know, kids yep. and the parents, like, something tangible at the end. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, that's, like, what like what you have, like, with the brothers over here, yep. a lot of their stuff. I mean, like, the drone on the ground, that doesn't go up in the air, but then mm -hmm. the power trip, you've got uh, the turret there that spins, and then the yep. T-Force is really wicked cool because that thing really boogies on the ground, and then the turret's constantly spinning, and then they get something cool to play with at the end because, you know, that paper can burn up and stuff like that. Yeah, well, and, so, and oftentimes the adults aren't letting the kids like the big stuff yeah so exactly. you gotta yeah. keep them entertained somehow absolutely. i mean absolutely otherwise there won't be any pyros in the future <laughs> now yeah. this thing is actually really interesting looking yes. it looks like a drone it is a drone yes. so do all four turrets spin but wow it re that thing really boogies on the ground too but it yep. doesn't uh it doesn't uh fly up it doesn't actually go right. up into the air yeah okay. exactly like fountains are over there firecrackers are centralized in through here yep. like a lot of the novelty spinners uh, all throughout here and then over there we would get to uh, yeah there's a whole other section of this store we haven't looked at yet um and that oh my god <laughs> look at that nice um so anyway yeah let's just touch on like the firecrackers and the rest of the stuff over here real quick um so you guys obviously have your standard black cat firecrackers and you got them in like strips and everything right you got the big rolls these big boys up here holy cow yes uh, and I will tell you, I mean, like this is a patented wick, but it is a prop mm -hmm. wick. So and just yeah, for, yeah. yeah, just for show, yeah. but uh, for everybody out do, there. Now, do you ever get anybody that asks about oh, that? Oh, that's why yeah. I say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get. I mean, everybody who looks at that. Oh my gosh, is this the real thing that you like? Yeah. And so uh, that is a very common that's uh, question. Funny. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when I was a kid, I always thought it was a fuse too. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until I did more research on it. Right. Exactly. But now you got a lot of single shots up here. Are these pretty popular. Uh, yes. Um, so you got some black I really, ones. 
Yeah, I mean, everybody kind of has, like, their little niche. I mean, I mm -hmm. would say, uh, you know, Black Hat does a really nice job with those, uh, for sure. And then, I mean, yeah. I would, I, you know, their firecrackers are what they're notoriously known for, as well as Fountains of Bottle Rockets as well. But mm -hmm. then the Diablo shell. Everybody loves the Diablo shell, so. Yeah, for um, sure. But then I had some uh, number fives uh, from Cutting Edge that we sold out of, and those were uh two inch uh um reloadable or uh, mm -hmm. single light uh canister so i'm just trying to get an up close to some of these prices here because uh i get comments all the time cody you never show the prices right so, sure <laughs> gotta yeah. be sure to do that and then moving on from the firecrackers looks like you got more than enough assortments here so actually um, um another thing that i kind of want to make clear to everybody watching um mm -hmm. is as a whole throughout our stores we're operating at about 60 percent of our inventory so this is really yeah, nothing like, of course i mean, I mean during season you're yeah, yeah yeah and i all of our containers will start coming like right after the new year mm -hmm. uh so to put in perspective i mean we've got about 12 containers coming this year so you're doing 45 on this assortment right now yes and uh looks like you get a good mix a couple little 200 gram cakes and some fountains in there and some aerials as well yep. so like that is uh not a safe and sane assortment. Yeah, no, you got that little happy down there on the bottom. And the Saturn missile, and then the added again is a mm. seven uh, shot. Um, you've got some Roman nice candles. Shot in there. Some Roman candles, yep. Pretty nice. I always like assortments like this too. So this is the master class by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Yeah, we're doing a special on that wow. for three hundred right now. Okay. So yep. Man, look at this. So you get a full twenty-four kit. The grand jury, the five inch, yep. Yep, and then you get some five hundred gram cakes. 200 gram is that another cake right here that is the gunslinger okay. yep that's another cake right there oh, and then wow. hidden right here uh is the hit the road jack oh, so okay, yeah okay. you do get uh i mean depending on who you yeah, ask that's I not mean, bad yeah those are those four all four of these are the 49 shotters by brothers which are really good yeah, i've shot yep. i've shot all of them yep and then uh the the current events is above that and that's mm -hmm. a 30 shot oh, okay I don't know how you feel about the flying fish effect, but I happen to. I love it all, man. I love it all. This is an American assortment. Love the patriotic label on that. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. They started doing this this year where um, like it used to kind of have like this thing and it was just mm -hmm. molded here, but now you oh, can okay. open up the flap. Oh, this cool. Year, so. Nice. You can see everything you're getting. Yep. Interesting. Um, and then, yeah, obviously this black cat assortment's huge party animal i don't do a lot of black cat on my channel uh, and part of that's because we don't get it up in north dakota right yeah, yeah like you know unless you're going out of state it's and tough I to find a ton of black cat stuff this year i mean that oh was... my god do you want to go ahead and stand next to that real yeah. quick <laughs> holy crap so that's the big one right there couldn't have picked a better name we have we also carry uh the max from brothers that's mm -hmm. uh that's their big one and then we also carry the godfather from black cat uh as well as the bone shaker from cutting edge so those are our four big packs but this is the only nice. one that we have left man that would fill up like a whole trunk in a vehicle <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah i mean a lot of people think that they could fit this in their car yeah but we have to take it all out even and, uh, even that one the, the wow, wow factor, factor yeah. yeah and then we have the king of the block on the other side of the store wow which is another one that's uh, pretty comparable to that but i like the wow factor because it has one of my favorite two cakes in there mm -hmm. uh, they're both pretty similar but the gorilla warfare oh, yeah, 30 shot sure. there and then the fighting rooster another 30 shot there nice bunch of 200 gram cakes in there too and then the big one's really nice because the uh some people call it school and crossbones but loyal to none mm -hmm. uh that is a very very good one too and we sell that separately as well wow nice so do you ever get anybody that just comes in here and says like i just want the biggest assortment of fireworks you have oh yeah and then I mean, you just load them up <laughs> yeah oh yeah i mean like um what we do is i mean if anybody wants to buy like two of them we couple them together mm -hmm. uh and sell it for um a thousand bucks which is way cheaper than i mean anything like that you'll see around here yeah so, yeah well and then we got a couple more assortments down here but then you go into this whole shelving here of fountains now do you sell a lot of fountains being so close to colorado that is one of our key yep. i mean key key items uh I mean, like you have like the jumping fish, that's like mm. uh, Windows Koi Pond. Uh, that's a great one right there. Yeah, I mean, we're only a hundred miles away from Denver right now, and we're super close to the Colorado border. So like he was saying, the fountains are pretty popular there. And that's why you have all these available. 
And again, I mean, like, we don't, I mean, we ran out of, between assortments, canisters, and fountains, those were the three things that we sold out of this yep. year, so. Nice. Pandora's cool? box, that's a great 500 gram pick. I know you like, like, oh, kind of yeah. like your crackle fountains wow, and stuff. Wow, that thing's huge. That thing has an excellent crackling finale. Wow. And then, um... That's also, another really big one here. Yeah, and I, like these look like cakes to me. Yeah, I've no, never yeah, seen fountains yeah. of this I mean, size. They used to be really <laughs> shaped a lot like this. Like, yeah, you know, well, yeah, even that like one. Like, put your hand up to that one. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it's huge. The snake chaser, though, that one is a phenomenal. I really, that was a good one. Uh, yeah, we uh, have a limited supply of that, but that has a very unique, like, bug, it, like used to be called the bug zapper and that name did it a lot mm -hmm. more justice uh because it tied in what the actual effect is but it looks like a bunch of bugs kind of swarming in and out you don't see that special effect in a lot yeah. of uh a lot of fountains so yeah i know then we um, have like our strictly noiseless fountains as well yeah so. i was gonna say i wanted to talk about this one because i see it at other fireworks stores yeah so that thing really makes like barely any noise no crackling no, no nothing no crackle no nothing like hmm. what they actually do um a lot of um they put like it's what like they uh it's like a lace effect kind of it's like if a crackle oh, okay, whisper yeah. to you you know mm -hmm. um and that's becoming increasingly popular in aerials now um yeah. with like especially um you know some of the they put it in some of the no abs uh this past year and stuff so yeah that's a huge fountain <laughs> then we have like the angel's kiss right here that is also uh a very very good value for um okay. you know that uh that noiseless fountain there what would you say, I guess, your most popular fountain is? Like, what do you sell the most of? The most popular for sure. Um, I would say, I mean, when you come, when you talk about fountains, a lot of people are looking for duration. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the never ending fountain, these are actually the last three oh, wow. that we have left. Yep. I mean, at 13 bucks, it's over three minutes long. Holy cow. Uh, so, uh, something like that. Well, looking at its size, you'd never No, you'd never, you'd never yeah. Guess. But, uh, you know, then you ask people, like, are you noise sensitive? And then that kind of eliminates mm -hmm. this one because it does have some loud crackles and whistles. Yep. Uh, and, of course, you got to think about people lighting these in neighborhoods, but, too. Yeah, absolutely. For the 4th uh, of July celebrations. And then the Energizer uh, mm -hmm. from Black Cat. This is over f uh, five minutes. I mean, wow. it's actually... <laughs> It's actually annoying because yeah, it's like, it just keeps, yeah, it just on keeps going, going yep. and going. And then and, I would oh, say man, this one's one of my favorites. That right one here. is uh, yeah. incredible. Like uh, the gorgeous if you, fountain. If you like that one, you would love Pandora's box. Yeah. That one, yeah. Uh, and then gingerbread, especially right now. Um, this one from Brothers. This is a super super good one because mm -hmm. you know it shoots out. Uh, you've got a red, gold, silver. Um, green color scheme uh, up at the top shoots out of the mouth yep. eyes start to glow pretty traditional but then at the end he gets wavy arms mm -hmm. uh, so that's a pretty interesting one as well and you could light that off for Christmas <clears throat> yeah exactly yeah exactly especially this time of year and then these yep. are only two left because I I'm trying to hide these. These are one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. If you notice, amidst showers and sparks, shoots oh, flaming yeah, balls. Oh, yeah, this is like that pure fantasy, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. It's so there's got like the crackling mines. Tear fountain. Yeah, yeah exactly. So Do you know, back in the day, they used to only say amidst showers and sparks. sparks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have some of those yeah. originals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really exactly. Right. Find. You could get away with like selling yep. these in Colorado, but now yeah, like even in Minnesota. So, yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, they had them. We all actually over. we had like 30 locations in Minnesota after Jesse Ventura legalized mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the retail sale of uh, safe and insane stuff so yep. uh and then color fiesta i love this one that's a good uh, one. and this one we're actually doing at 25 dollars right now okay uh which is a, literally it's an incredible deal uh mm -hmm. i mean that is much more color um oriented as opposed to like this one you just see like similar like the fan yep. shape uh but that one is awesome so going back over here you've got world's highest fountain right and uh like how high up would you say that goes and like how long does it hold that height um so really it's just at the end um it mm -hmm. doesn't really it's, it's like got those like two, one big grand finale, finale like right exactly 20 feet like it's yeah. like the nightmare really like it's just okay. over 30 feet um so like the, this one's that one's 30 this, this one goes 30 feet yeah or the no the bigger than life sorry excuse oh, me okay. the bigger than life yeah over 30 <laughs> oh, feet. wow yeah. yeah look at that yeah, yeah how much is that one um that was 39.95 okay. 500 gram fountain wow. and then um over 30 feet my god and then uh yeah that one's at like 35 just at the very end yeah like about wow. i would say 10 seconds so yeah okay so the quasar is really good as well this is actually a very unique one too mm -hmm. uh window used to make a ground bloom fountain this has a 17 shot ground bloom finale uh, okay. So that so is they kind it. Of pop out of pop the top? Yeah, they pop out of the top. You can actually feel uh, the holes where uh, where they come out. So yeah, 
Um, and then also, uh, we ran out of the snow cone senior, but the snow cone junior. The big and snow cone, cone ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah like those. those. The ones by window. Oh, these yeah. are by window too. Those are by yeah. window. Yeah, yeah. So they make the junior okay. and the senior. So four pack there for ten ninety five. Not bad. And the, the bigger one of that is actually really good too. Oh, yeah. They couple all of these yeah. together actually. And then uh, that's what you have. Uh, oh, the, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, so just finished up over there in the fountains, and we're going to move down to this part of the store, which would be all the aerials, shells, and all the good stuff like that. Um, I'm just noticing this huge one here that looks like you likely need this dolly to carry out of the store. <laughs> uh, king of the block, wow. So you get a ton of shells, a bunch of 500-gram cakes. That's a huge assortment. Between your big in like the huge massive ones mm -hmm. versus like your what we call the number sixes like the party animal you were looking at by black cat yep. you know so it's kind of like that happy medium between like all of these over yeah. here oh and then this it looks like you get some x cows in there yes so actually what this is so i don't want to give anybody the Whoa. illusion that these are actually excalibur these are actually yeah i believe these are their 33 gram shells and they call okay. it the total destruction so those i was gonna say this is a different box. box yes that's interesting cool yeah but I mean, you get and like a ton uh, of 200 gram cakes. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. I just shot this off the other night. This Did one you like here, that one? yeah, it was really good. Yeah, that one's great. Um, it had like red, white, and red, blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we usually, have a lot of red, white, and blue stuff. For and me. usually, <laughs> cakes that advertise red, white, and blue, they always screw it up. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> the, the white is crackle or something. Yeah, like that. sure. Yeah. Um, this is kind of cool. So, those are, yeah, our in house grab bags that we do. Okay. Uh, we throw about uh, $20 uh, worth of stuff in those, 20 mm -hmm. to 25 uh, and it's a lot of the stuff that you know might come in like like the plastic wrapping like in the novelties or something Yeah, uh, let's say like something like You know your crackle balls bust open or something. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot the, of, yeah It's just not a, so pretty stuff that still works the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then coming back on down over here um, You've got so choose any four. Oh, I like this. You actually give them the option Yes, you can choose any four or five hundred gram cakes for a hundred dollars right here. Yeah, uh, so you got some 12 shot ones, some 30 shot, 16 shot. Pretty nice. 12 to That's like a mini Noab down here. Yeah, yeah, the pigskin. Yeah, that's a mini mm -hmm. Noab. Yep. That one pretty good. It's a, um, you know, I have not seen that one, so I huh. don't want to say. Uh, when we had uh, the Jaws, which was up here. Uh, that's a red, white, and blue glitter. Uh, yep. like uh, that was a Noab, but uh, we ran out of that one. Um, then I got one Magic. That's the 16 shot there. Uh, the Jungle Cat's a 12, a uh, little bit larger. Um, tubes on those as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the bite your tush is a 24 shot uh, and that's got some silver screechers uh, into glitter um, So that's a pretty nice interesting one as well Okay, and then I'm gonna try to do this kind of <coughs> slow so it doesn't get blurry, but got a bunch of packs of rockets up here And then some double break ones down here. I don't think I've ever seen a double break rocket double break, yeah, yeah. yeah, are those kind of older? The packaging looks so yes, those are uh, 2015 Wow, that's Really cool looking. Um, and then you've got a shelf right below it full of 500 gram cakes angled and straight up. Did and we shot that at yeah, the demo, the, yeah. The, the moth or butterfly effect. Yep, yeah, and that yeah. was pretty impressive yeah. if I remember right. Yes, they, I mean, World Class really had a tremendous line of uh, 500 gram cakes this past year. Like the Clown's Revenge. And the reason why mm. I have like these all right here, because these were kind of my favorites for this year. Yep. Uh, I do have like a lot of my favorites that actually uh aren't on here but the reason also they're marked up so high is this is the last <laughs> the last uh standing on those but uh yeah. these were regularly 59.95 and i gotta have these for new year's uh so but uh this one is super that looks so, interesting so this cool. one is awesome I the love network the security on. is tremendous uh you get a little shots. bit of, yeah it's not great if you want just like one effect i know a lot of people you know like you need like their brocades or dahlias or mm -hmm. uh you know um a lot of people do um you know stars or something like that this has a little bit of everything uh on mm. in that like with the flying fish you got brocade brocades uh stars green fish comet tail you, i mean just get a little bit of everything so that's kind of yeah. i mean that's a nice little uh and then the, the clown's revenge it has some really interesting like colors like some plum colors and um <clears throat> um, on those and uh, that's about a minute and ten uh, both of these are about a minute and ten so uh, good like pace yeah, on, have, yeah. yeah good pace on those yeah good duration I see you got uh, these Goliath kits too yes yes the Goliath always yeah. popular yeah absolutely yeah I mean 36 shells yeah, uh, we did a, we actually did a show with these uh, a couple years ago on a speedway 
Oh yeah, a lot of fun. Was that the one in South Dakota? Or? Nope, that was oh. the one in Fargo. Fargo, but okay, gotcha. One in right. South Dakota, we use a lot of like red, red apple. apple okay, gotcha. Stuff, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, what are these? These are kind of cool looking. So 88 these, shots. Oh, these are like the mega candles. They're just yes. not as long. Lo right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the balls of fire is 210 shots. Mm -hmm. uh, the rapid fire, uh, some of them have 110, some of them have 108. Then the silver spinner candle. I mean, like that silver spinner uh, is kind of hard to find in uh, in those especially. So that is uh, strictly silver spinners in those. You get 88 shots. Uh, and then the crackling fire, you've got crackling uh, barrages coming out of that one. Mm. Uh, and then another one that was interesting this year that we sold a ton of. Uh, for shows was the sassy this is 600 shots this is our biggest uh as far as shot quantity that's our biggest 600 one 600 shots yeah and that's a lot of uh crackling red green no uh silver way. gold barrage coming out of that so uh that was a super super interesting one and then no i love the state of the union uh actually like when brothers did their elvis uh line they came mm -hmm. out with like the elvis 34 shot and they're identical uh but color changing minds uh red white blue color scheme uh it's uh that is a tremendous tremendous uh 500 what was the price on that one uh so we've got this one at uh 50 bucks okay um and then i just noticed these out of the corner of my eye but you actually have the xcal platinum yes yeah, so yeah. these are highly sought after shells right here <clears throat> To be quite honest, those in the Growler, I mean, they're very comparable, but I yeah. mean, they're both tremendous. And then one of my favorite These four, are new. I haven't seen these. These are, I mean, what you see now is a lot of the four inch cans getting kind of oozed out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's, I mean, the five, the six, and then. Uh, well, now the, there's an influx of six inch shells yeah, in the market. Yeah, so, uh, exactly. At what point do you stop <laughs> making them an extra inch? <laughs> well, so now they got a seven inch coming out oh, for this year. Gosh. So, yeah. So, uh, but the Dracarius. Um, you saw you shot the tough guy, right? I did. Yes. yes and yep. you, you, what was your thoughts on that? They were really good. I, I love, yeah. I love all the cutting edge. So stuff. you get six tough guy. Yeah, cutting yeah, edge. I would, I mean, their five hundred gram cakes are almost second to none. Like, yeah, I've shot oh, yeah. a ton of them off before. Always been impressed. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you get six tough guy shells in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this one, uh, I mean, these are tremendous. I mean, this was my favorite. Uh, four inch shell for the year i would say like with yep. the new shells we got in the dracarius was uh was one of them and then um one that we're out of is actually the maelstrom by brothers um and right uh right now we're doing um any uh so any of our five inch cans we do two mm -hmm. for 200 and then if you wanted like oh the, that's not bad at all yeah, yeah yeah so uh any two for 200 and if you wanted a case and that's a full the, 24 kit right yep yeah. Uh, and then like the Dracarius and then the Excals, uh, mm -hmm. we're doing uh, well, those two for 170. Holy crap. Okay, there's a lot of variety. Or two for that. 140, sorry, so 70 a piece. Yeah. Sorry about that. So you have the King Arthur shells, which are like the, it, there's 12 of them in there, right? Right. So that's like 12 shells of the Excalibur kind of thing. So when, I, when I'm when i selling, I try to tell the consumer. Yeah, like if you don't it, want all 24, you can get. Well, it's like going to the liquor store, I say. You know, mm -hmm. like you have like the 24 pack of Coors. Oh, yeah. And you there have you the go. 12, yeah. and then you have the that's 6. That's a really good way of looking yeah, at so, it. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. it's all the same product. Uh, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, you don't get uh, all the shells. And it's nice like with the Sir Lancelot because it's kind of tricky with the Sir Lancelot is like they always like you don't have any that are like the same. They're all like kind of different. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like they'll put a six sleeve here and there and then another yeah. side will go, you know, so it's not yeah. all the same shell. Um, and I really like the name on that one. That one is like if you liked the call uh, or the duty calls, you'll love that mm -hmm. one too. That's a 25 shot. That's the the big difference on that, uh, as well as the Memorial Day. The Memorial Day and then the National Salute to Veterans are almost identical. Um, but I didn't get enough of these and needed some of those, and I could have these. So, but they're like almost like a rewrap, almost. So. Okay. Bunch of 200 gram cakes right here. Yeah. So those are all of our buy one get one free two inch and mm -hmm. Nice. And then before we tackle this whole wall of 500 gram cakes, um, I just wanted to look at these shells one more time. Yeah. So these Black Cat 5-inch shells, how do those perform in comparison to, say, like uh, the, the Excalibur Platinums? I would say, um, you know, with the Excalibur, you don't get any, um, you know, mines or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, to have 12 mines and then uh, in the oh, color, the uh, yeah, and then the tails too. as well, yeah. So, um, oh, wow. 
but that's I mean okay a little more variety here then yeah exactly yeah. definitely I mean and then we wow. so the following shells that we ran out of are so we had Black Cat's Patriot shell that was their six inch yeah shell. the six inch yeah, Patriot, Patriot God, I've yeah. been looking for those two yeah man. oh man we had uh, those and then another shell that I will hopefully have next year as well mm -hmm. uh, was the Kodo collection that was actually a diverse 24 so each sleeve of six was different you had uh, 12 five inch shells and 12 six inch shells but you had Nishiki Kimura, you know, the Japanese inspired yep. Nishiki effect. You had six of those. You had six tail, uh, uh, tail to breaks. You had uh, six neon shells. And then you had six double ca uh, brake cans. So okay. that was a very uh, interesting one. So we ran out of the, the, both of those, the, uh, the Kodo collection and mm. the Black Cat Patriot shell, as well as the um, Maelstrom, which was Brothers Six Inch Shell and their Packing Heat Shell. And the Maelstrom was between the Maelstrom and the Kodo collection shell. Those were my favorite shells of the of the year. So how do these gladiators perform? Is that a four or a five so inch? So those are a four inch shell, and I have actually not seen the gladiator yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I uh, when customers you know came in here, uh, I will tell you that they wanted the twenty four pack of that because they love that shell. Mm -hmm. uh, then I mean, Red Lantern really like does uh, does a great job with a lot of their stuff. But I have yeah. not seen the gladiator. That actually came uh, June. 29th uh so we weren't able to get that uh, was a little late yeah, a little party, late. Yeah. yeah exactly so <laughs> yeah we uh that was on our emergency list uh, emergency load that came the 29th so we yeah. have one come the 29th and one come july 2nd so a little late to be uh doing our demos with how packed and crowded we were and then mm -hmm. the um you know the pure power is a new five inch from cutting it was a new one uh, from cutting edge last year as well as the pure pyro oh, okay um, and then we are going to take a look at what's behind there, but I just want to flip yeah. completely around and show these Moab assortments here where you get double brakes, quadruple brakes, <laughs> and single brakes um, yes. as far as artillery <laughs> shell assortments go anyway. Yeah. And then you actually start the 500 gram cakes <clears throat> yeah. starting from there, which is where we walked into the store, and then they go all the way back. Uh, so let's just start over here with yin yang. Yin Yang, yeah, that pretty is pretty good one. Very good. I mean, very nice percussion on Yin Yang. Uh, mm -hmm. 33 shot, also an angle cake. Uh, if you want to get a little rowdy, the Oktoberfest is tremendous. Uh, people love that one. Uh, Rev it up has some nice uh, horse tails or you know falling leaves um, yeah. going on in that one. Uh, Parrot's Pradle is. Um, I actually have that one in my garage right that now. That is buy one get one for us right now. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, you know bamboozle. Uh, and then the highfalutin are both tremendous. Uh, I got the bamboozle at twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, this one here makes a really strange sound. Yeah, that's you heard it? yeah. It's like a, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then I just now noticed this too, the instigator. So yeah, uh, that but, is a huge. Yeah. Well, even me standing next to yeah. this, I'm not even as tall as this. <laughs> but yeah, wow. you've got eighty four shells in there. Yeah, you get um, all HTP too, yeah, so you can yep. make a bunch of racks. Yeah, so the, that's yep, really the cool. patented uh, high density polyethylene. Yep. Yep. Uh, so um, reinforced bottom on those. Uh, so this here is the backyard hero. It's and that's assortment. half off of that price, so it's one hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. You get one hundred twenty four breaks, eighty four shells in total. Yep. Um, now you've got a bunch of 500 gram cakes up there i see but are those yeah, so also those are yeah some those that are we gonna saw, be back yeah, there those too are back there, yeah, we okay, just, i just yeah. don't want to miss anything here because a lot of these people are looking for very specific products right yeah so i'm trying to cover as much of this as i can um more rockets up there and there is stuff don't forget to remind me i do have like cakes that aren't on the shelf that are on the ground maximum drama Flashback. There's a lot of brothers cakes. Hit the road, Jack. That's a fan favorite. Yes. Blood money. Um. So this actually, there's an assortment. Yeah. That you can get. So that is the you, mob madness, right? Yeah, so mob we, madness. Yeah. So yeah. inside job, crime scene, turf war, yep. blood money. And I was super uh, impressed with that. Those assortment. are that. Yeah. Those are great. And then we also oh, you do, do have the, all the uh, yeah. well, we don't have all of them. We are out of the hydrogen, hydrogen right? So we also sell the box of bombs, is what that one is. All the mm -hmm. bombs. Uh, and we sell both of these uh, for 160 so um, wow. four of them for 160 Not bad. Open fire. Um, do you have that Fortress of Fire? We don't have Fortress of Fire. Okay, because I just shot that off the other day, and I couldn't was, even believe it. It was it was gorgeous. It's a brother's cake. Yeah, yeah, yep. Um, um, and it really looks similar to that one, but... So it's, yeah, it's like weird. The, the it's got cross, like yeah, the, but it has like the one. That yeah, it's, it's got the weird castle yeah, looking. Yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, we have several of the ones that look like that, like the Open Fire, like the X. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this one, Open Fire. We have uh, Cutting Edge, uh, Pharaoh's Fortune, uh, yeah. which I think is tremendous. And then Now, if I remember right, this is the one that fires in patterns, so it goes one and then two and then right. three, four, and five. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. so you get volleys. Well, yeah, exactly. So yep. if you're not expecting that... Which is kind of cool because, I mean, you have like the volleys kind of... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I used it in a <laughs> yeah. show a long time ago, and if you're not expecting that, it's... Yeah, it's mind -boggling. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like, oh my the god, how many is, yeah. more shots are we gonna get? The, at yeah, once? the pace is great <laughs> on those for sure. And then the American bongas. This is an old That's school cool one. Look. This actually has two Gerandolas down in there. What? That, yeah, it's a figure eight, no. and then you've got two. So I'll just turn my flashlight on here to show you the Gerandolas down there. And they're kind of like aerial spinners, but that's super unique. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, and the Gerandol, like some of and those. And then the tubes are around. Right. Yeah, you've yeah. got red, green, uh, crackling. Uh, I mean, uh, you and then uh, these actually the Gerandolas uh, don't actually explode. They just mm -hmm. kind of whiz up and just out. Like go a, way yeah, up there. exactly. Yep. Nice. Any more cakes with hidden Gerandolas? No, actually, okay. I will tell you. Like I, so back at our Kansas locations, we had this one year. Uh, I was probably 15 and you know back when I was 15 that was 12 years ago so I had never really seen that and I have been on track for this ever since uh, you know we got it but I don't actually take them out now because a lot of people like they put their hands in there and it messes up the gerandola so yeah, we do have yeah that. so uh, that's the only bad part about that one so um, yeah. then we have like some of our red lantern cakes uh, and these came in on the 29th so we have like the shootout which is a lot like the um, um, open fire from brothers 33 uh, then the revenge the perfect storm bomb okay fires. well let me just stop you there so what's the deal with red lantern fireworks like th I see more and more fireworks stores this year are carrying it but I thought it was a company that went out of business so like a they, long they, time they, ago yeah their factory reopened so yeah it reopened, I mean, yeah, reopened. Yeah. so now so, they're just pumping out new uh, stuff yeah, yeah exactly yeah I keep seeing this brand pop up and, and I'm like there's no way that actually this many the stores. old red lantern um one of, like a lot of the old Red Lantern factories are Brothers factories, so. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't previously know that, but um, I just thought it was weird because, like, I I see this uh, I see this Red Lantern logo on like a lot of vintage fireworks. fireworks yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And continuing on, we got more Red Lantern. I even see that you've got some Raccoon over here. Yes. Yeah, so we, now you've been pretty impressed with Raccoon. I love Raccoon stuff. Yeah, that's good I really, stuff. Yeah, I love. I mean. Uh, um, they were a uh, huge gold strobe. That sounds like a video title on my channel. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, I noted, like, I mean, so, like, um, uh, Red Apple, they have, like, their raw white strobe, huge gold strobe. Yeah, so where they, like, like their... specifically name an effect, and it's all oh, one the, effect yeah, in the Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, we have the huge white, uh, gold strobe, and then we also have the huge white strobe, and those were some Okay. And this is very important for show building too, because you want to be able to pick your effects. Yeah, exactly. And so right. it's so, it's nice that you know that as a customer coming in here, I might want like an all red cake, and you'd be able to show, show me where to yeah, get one exactly, of those. Yeah, exactly. Right. So there's the huge white strobe there. Okay. Um, and those are, I mean, they do. I mean, other than, I mean, Dominator. I think Dominator has an excellent strobe. Um, we mm -hmm. carry some of that stuff at our Kansas locations, but um yeah that one mammoth strobe is what they call that one and that one is a tremendous one too if you can get yeah well on. since we're down here let's wait to go back over there okay um because remember we didn't take yeah, a look yeah, at these canister those, yeah. shells but you've got pure evil now i haven't shot those yeah uh what kind of when did they put this logo on here is that their yeah, old so logo that, yeah so one? that actually <laughs> i don't know raccoon they they have that on some of their boxes which is totally bizarre but yeah, they do. Uh, they do randomly have some of those. Uh, hmm. But uh, it's really only on this. This is a high tech warfare. Um, and then, if you yep. notice behind it, you have the uh, the other. This is the exact oh, yeah, same no shell. Uh, no so kidding. yeah, so um, pretty, pretty interesting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this one here, critical acclaim. Critical acclaim. This okay. Is a mine now show. this is the mine kit, but yes. the. The label used to be way different. Way it different. said like ad scene on TV. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have yeah. an original. I, was, I found it at your store actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, right on. Um, yeah. Yeah. In South Dakota? Yeah. yeah. I've been we looking have... for these shells, man, since I was a kid. Because yeah. when I was a kid, these were like one of the first shell kits I ever had. Was really? just the mines. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So full disclosure on that one. We um, haven't put any fireworks over there in quite some time. So mm -hmm. uh, because um, we don't know what we're going to do with it. But, um, but yeah, so... Uh, a lot of old inventories over there for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then Fear No Evil, I mean, 
the only interesting thing about these really is these are fives. I mean, these aren't. Uh, so you get five breaks. Five breaks one each shot. one. Yeah, they. I yeah. mean, they just the brothers used to make one called String of Pearls, where they gave you five and sixes. But I just think they get weighted down too much. They're not. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't get the the trajectory that I that I desire. So. And you do have the growler shells. But yeah, and then also those are two for two hundred right now. So. Mm -hmm. Um, now, how much are the pure pyros? Or are they buy one, get one, or whatever? Uh, so the pure pyros, uh, these are one nineteen ninety five. but again, you mm -hmm. can mix and match any of them, two for 200 that are over the five-inch shelves. Like any of your 24 four yeah, yeah, exactly, yep. Well, that's a good deal. Well, a lot of people like those growler shells. And I mean, like, deal. we're during the season, we we're doing two for 180, but with the limited, you know, I mean, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of stuff that I just can't do right now because no, we, don't, totally we, don't the, yeah. uh, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the, uh, inventory. To be to... completely honest with you, I can't even believe you have this much. Oh, I know. Um, I mean, just yeah. based on how cleared out everybody got this year. Uh, Roman candles, I mean, it, you got a really nice variety of them. Yeah. You got the huge, like, barrage style candles and then all the little guys. Uh, it's a funny story, actually. Uh, there was a fireworks store in Nevada that was selling these on an Indian reservation. I want you to take a stab at how much this pack of Roman candles was. Thirty-five dollars. Seventy-nine bucks. Oh my goodness! Can, buy you, one, can you believe that? <laughs> no, I mean, no, buy one get one either. I uh, mean, and they get it because it's the only fireworks store there, and they allow you to shoot them right, right outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and that's they some, got you trapped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of stores will do that, but yeah. um, you know, uh, that's something that we also provide too, is like a safe shoot off site. But that happens at our Laramie location, which will yeah visit tomorrow but this looks um, really nice to protect and serve yeah a lot of people don't like the split down the, the middle split? oh yeah. i love it yeah i, I know love it. I, I mean it's something different so i yeah. mean if that's something that uh, i love using stuff like that in shows yeah absolutely like the civil war is the same uh mm. not the same color schemes as both but uh but yeah i mean you have the same concept between the two uh, then double down, they have that lace effect in it. Like it's like if a crack oh, a whisper wow. to you, you know. Um, yep. And I mean, a lot of the, I mean, I'm out of so many three inch racks too. Um, like uh, Raccoon's Uncle Sam, that's the Nashiki one that they have. The Magnum Tremors from Raccoon, which is a tremendous one. And what we have going on right here uh, with the three inch racks is China has reclassified. Oh, um, I remember three, reading about yeah, this. China's yeah, China has reclassified. So all you consumers out there. Um, it's not on our end, but uh, China has made these um, actually uh, come um, uh, class uh, B there. Yeah, like one three uh, style. Yeah, zero three three five, um, and like these are two and a half inch inserts in here. You know, I mean, like the tube mm -hmm. says three, uh, but uh, these are actually well, two and a half. Yeah, inch. it wouldn't even be legal to put a real three inch shawl. Right, People exactly. Got to understand Stand that. that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So like, I mean, it is a marketing tactic, but some of these are like my favorite. Yeah, I, um, I usually only use those in firework displays. I'm yeah. sure you've noticed. Yeah. My past <laughs> few displays yeah, are just yeah. all no apps. Yeah, so. sixty two. I love it. Millimeters. You can't. You really can't beat it because they're gonna break bigger mm -hmm. than a canister shell. They're not as always as loud. No, they're not always. But as they loud. break way bigger. And I think some of the symmetry. Is, yep, is the symmetry there, is what yeah, I like. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but I will say, I mean, like, we're out of the Red Riff by Brothers. We're out of the Spring Loaded by Brothers. Um, mm -hmm. We are out of a lot of three-inch racks as well. Watch, all these are all really cool. Looking. And Brothers has some really nice uh, three-inch racks, uh, if we can get them to uh, this mm -hmm. year um, coming out. But um, then the bombshell is a mixture of two and three so. yeah i see you got packing heat that's a really good one yeah that's a tremendous one too that's my last one so yeah oh that must have been popular <laughs> oh yeah i mean and if you guys check out magnum tremors too by raccoon that one is tremendous as well mm. and now right here i guess uh finishing up with the artillery shells it looks like you can get like all these different little packs here and so yeah. you've got ball shells um any mini canister shells here? Yeah, oh yeah, so right here. Have, I'm looking at them. Yeah, those mini canisters, nice. and then we have the mini balls as well mm -hmm. uh, between the uh, cutting edge uh, 12 pack and then the boomer yep. six pack. And that's so. really standard right there. I think for nine bucks is usually what they are. Yeah. So and these are is that six bucks for those? Yes. Oh, that's not bad at all. Trying to focus on that. Whistling Jake, I see these everywhere. Those are becoming increasingly popular too. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's got a really nice, uh, nice blare to it for sure. Mm -hmm. Trying to focus on these premium ones on here too. Nice assortment of now these Red Lantern ones here. These look pretty big. Yeah, I have not seen those. That's <laughs> yeah. a lot of the Red Lanterns stuff I haven't seen. Um, those look pretty big. And then we also have like some mini canis or like the these are one inch two 
the hammer times a one inch canister shell here 12 mm -hmm. pack uh here a bit smaller than a regular a bit, but not yeah, quite a mini. not quite a mini right uh no. but uh then we also have like the one inch camo blast as well 24 in here mm -hmm. and these are buy one get one yeah this is the raccoon again um so anyway i guess then continuing back where we left off in the 500 gram area um, I noticed we've got Guerrilla Warfare, which you said was one of your favorites. Yes, yeah. I mean, I love the, I love the red, white, blue color scheme as well as you know you got some mines uh, mm -hmm. with some excellent pace in there as well. I mean, really no dead time if you're trying to really, um, you know, sky puke it up for sure. Um, yeah. I, I really like those. The Tai Chi was a new one this year from Cutting Edge. You say you like Cutting Edge stuff. These uh, yep. have some really cool multicolor uh, changing mines. Um, those are really, really nice. The cutting edge cakes are just really loud. Yes. That's why I yeah, like I mean, them. yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't mess around. I mean, there's the, some of these cutting edge cakes, I swear they put like canister shells in the So, tubes. I don't know if you know this either, but uh, cutting edge is actually uh, a brother or a parent company or a sister company of world class. So, yeah, yeah like yeah. you're getting, yeah, you're getting like a world yeah. class product. So, maybe cutting edge is like their premium Pre world class. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Um, you got an angled one here called Sharpshooter. I never that shot that one. That has one has a tremendous percussion. Um, and then if I can find it, one of my favorite ones uh, for percussion is the Pyro Panther. It got a little Ooh, watered I down like for that. the 2020, but that's a 2018 mm -hmm. one. Uh, and that one is... I like I how mean, that looks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's one of my favorites. It's our last one. So, mm. um, And then another one that I really, really, really like. Um, try my best to go slow here with the camera because yeah. otherwise people comment that they get a headache watching, <laughs> yeah, yeah. watching me go like this back and forth yeah yeah and then um, i mean one bad mother you know you have like that was a really big staple for crackling um mm. crackling 500s but one of my favorite ones um the smoke yeah smoking hot's a great one that's got some really nice palms in it um as nice well as uh, but my favorite one is down there for this year the patriot pride Mm -hmm. That 34 shot right there. This uh, um, angled has some one here. Whistling mines, crackling mines, red, white, blue wow. color scheme. But at the end, you get that large disc jellyfish uh, effect coming out. Oh, okay. Down. So yeah, okay. that is a that is a tremendous one. It's a really big cake. Boneyard too. is. I always forget about it because it's only it's a, a seven shot, but um, mm -hmm. it's almost a five. It's like a 350, you know. Um, but um, that has some tremendous percussion on that. Nice. This one's kind of cool looking. Merlin's Magic. Mm -hmm. 13 shots. Old Ironsides, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I yeah. shot that over a lake a long time ago and it yeah, looked awesome. Yeah, that one's a great one. So Angry Beaver. Yeah, I've actually that. shot this one before too. Did you like that one? Yeah, it was pretty good if yeah. I remember right. I yeah. mean, I shoot so many of them that yeah, I sometimes you, forget what yeah, they exactly, do. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, actually, um, you're familiar with Memory Fireworks? Yeah, Memory in uh, North Dakota? Yep, yeah. they carry a lot of world class. They actually have this the, one. There. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Nice. These look like they're in packs. Yes, are so these they in are. packs? Yes, those are packs. Okay. Yeah, look at that. So you get how many in a pack? Four? You got four, yeah. And you get Slam Dunk, Hat Trick, Grand Slam, touchdown. and Touchdown. Yep. Very nice. Each of them are 16 shots. So it's like a little cake assortment right there for like 79. Not bad at all. I'm loving all these cake assortments nowadays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. I've been doing a lot of videos on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This one must be just outrageous, huh? <laughs> I mean, a lot of them. And red. loud and nasty right La next to Yeah, yeah that's oh, funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but uh, then we have the gender reveal. So yep. <laughs> <Yes>. Nice, cool. <laughs> Sweet. And then some of my favorite ones are over uh, that way. Okay. Um, but the Let It Rip is tremendous as well, too. Yep. You probably shot that. And now, based on the size of these cakes, I always call these like 350 gram cakes. Because these are, even though it says 200 gram, right. this is ultimately a bit larger than yeah. a standard 200 gram, like what we see in those assortments over there. Right, right. So I would say like every single one of these is probably pushing that 350 gram. Especially like the monster bashing, that actually used to be uh, classified as a 500 gram. Mm -hmm. So uh, cutting edge used to classify it as a 500 gram. So yeah, you're getting that 19, for 20 bucks. There we go. That outrageous was 24. That was 34. Not bad at all. We have so many different rooms, and we have our artillery shell room. You know, I mean, it just gets uh, gets kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, and then uh, right over here on the other side of the 500 gram cake, so see, you can get a rocket pack. The magical, magical wizard. That wizard. is one of my favorite favorite things in this. Yeah, and it comes with a little tube to launch yeah, them out of too. Yeah, launch pad. Yeah. It's really so you unique. got two assorted colors in each one of those. Yeah. Um, I always compare it. It's like a almost like. Uh, 
a rocket meets a Roman candle meets a artillery shell. You know what I mean? So it's yep. uh, it's kind of got all three of those covered. That's why I love them. So you got some older looking rockets oh, yep. here, horse older, ground. Yep. Nice. Um, and then are these Night Stalkers pretty good? Yeah, those are some. Like, are they like the Texas Pop Rockets? Kind no, of? those uh, those got a nice little uh, whistle to them. So these ones do. Yes. Okay. And then they burst into red and uh, green stars. Oh, there's those double throws again. Yeah. Very cool. Not too often do you see a rocket with two <laughs> two shells on the sure. top. It kind of catches you off guard. Um, more rocket packs here. Um, so anyway, that one's nine bucks, and then you get uh, smiling from ear to ear. I've yeah, actually shot these off before. These yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, those aren't bad. And then that's obviously the smiley face. And then you've even got assortments exclusive to rockets, but it looks like you have some spinners in here too. Yes. Yep. They do um, throw some wing items in there as well, like the bombers yeah. and. Uh, um, the plane with the report, uh, and then like this one's kind of cool too. The rocket assault, uh, you get some magical wizards in there, mm -hmm. uh, as well as some smiling from ear to ear, and then some smaller ones. So I mean, that's kind of a nice little value bundle for sure. Yep. And then we also have the uh, Dragon's Rage. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. I just wanted to show like all the different packs of rockets. And then I make sure I didn't miss any of the cakes. Yeah, so we don't have the Dead Walkers or the Burst mm -hmm. with Joy up there, so. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they'll see like one cake and then they'll want to come in and buy all of them. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I cover yeah, everything. Yeah, here. definitely. Uh, more rockets. So you kind of have things placed in a way where if somebody's going through the store and it's like, oh yeah, we need rockets. Right, like exactly. They, they yeah. know where to go get them. <laughs> and you've got rockets over there too. Right. So you can't miss anything here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we uh, we try to cover everything. So yeah, and then uh, I guess going right down the middle aisle here, it looks like missiles on the left, and then more rockets here on the right. Uh, stellar jets, would you say? Now is that an actual like canister show up there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's very yeah, that's cool. Very nice. Yeah. Very good report on that. And then um, you know you've got your galaxy pack, a little bit smaller um, rockets, and then another smiling rocket mm -hmm. right there. Um, this is that galaxy pack yes. you were just talking about. Nice. And we go into some of the. Oh, ring these shell. ring shell rockets are yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I strung up all six of them in a rack once. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. But these are really cool. And looking. those are super old. Yeah. So those what the are, heck? <laughs> yeah, those are horse brand as well. Wow. Um, and then the uh, space rocket to, uh, to the left of it is mm. uh, uh, an old school rocket. Nice. What would you say uh, your favorite rocket is, or do you have a favorite? Uh, my favorite, I would say... I saw you looked over there right away. Yeah. So all your be best <laughs> yeah. ones are up yeah, here. I mean... Let's just I, go briefly touch on these again real quick. Uh, the Jet Screamers are have a very, very, very nice percussion and very symmetrical yeah. burst. Uh, and then I would say uh, between the USA rockets and then the, the Maverick right up here, mm -hmm. those are tremendous as well. Yeah, there's the Maverick one. You'd say those are probably best performing rockets. Best right? perform, yeah. I mean, a very nice and world class and again. Like they, they do yeah. make really good stuff. Yes. Um. So now let's get back over here to the missile aisle. And just looking at the missiles, um, I just want to tell you, in North Dakota, we can't buy these. Oh, really? So okay. a missile in North Dakota has to have this on the bottom. Okay. Where the huh. missile acts like a, like a lift. Right. Instead of like a rocket engine you gotcha okay it's so bizarre, bizarre but like yeah. i've asked the store owners why they don't have these missiles like i see <laughs> everywhere else in the usa and they're like well we can't sell them unless they have this on the bottom wow maybe that that's must, why they started doing that yeah that must be like a north dakota only thing because i know some stores carry them like this and then oftentimes you only see them like this right the, the classic missile base so. right I mean, yeah, it's, I always thought that was weird. And bottle rockets too. We can't buy those either. Right. Yeah. So it's just. I'm from, it's, I'm from Kansas, so bottle rockets yeah. are, are are outlawed as well. So it's just all these weird little things that yeah. you would never even think of. Exactly. But yeah. Like they ban bottle rockets, but not canister shells. Like, yeah. as, as if they're any. <laughs> I, I know. I know. <laughs> I mean the. Uh, yeah, the logic behind it is. Yeah, uh, these are so fun. Yeah. Though, have you had those? Yes. I okay. Have. Yeah. Michael nice. Yeah. So these that was a really cool. Um, interesting mm -hmm. product uh, kind of gives you that uh, canister feel but you know you've got parachutes so yep of course yeah those are a lot of fun man and I, I've always been looking for those too ever since I was a kid because yeah. uh, one year on the 4th of July when I was like 10 or 11 my cousin brought a pack of reloadable parachutes oh really nice and okay. I, I haven't been able to find them since <laughs> yeah. and this last year I found these and I'm like oh my god just like I gotta I get them 
they used to uh, have like the pull string grenades everywhere. Oh yeah, and then yeah those yeah. were discontinued for like the longest time. Then they no, they're back. finally yeah, back. So yeah, we have those as well. So, um, and then uh, we've got like single day parachutes, nighttime parachutes. I always thought of the concept of a nighttime parachute was kind of odd. Yeah. And then somebody in the comment section explained it to me really well. It's like they make them for the effect of the falling star. Right. I always thought it was like, well, you're going to chase after a parachute yeah. and it's dark out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so yeah. I thought it was funny. Absolutely. But, um, um, and then the Geronimo, like, um, the Geronimo has, like, the plastic army man in it with the smoke coming down as well as some firecrackers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the King of Pirates, I have this over by some of the daytime stuff uh, because that is a daytime uh, cake. It's got, like, a... Uh, red, smoke tails yeah, and smoke, stuff. Yeah, smoke tails, crackling, yep. whistling. I mean, that thing goes nuts. So I love I know, that. Yeah, stuff. I know you like that one. So that one is an excellent one. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest pyros that we sell to uh, down in Colorado. I mean, he mm. he had never seen those. And then uh, at our shoot off, I mean, he was there and he was like, "I'm buying a case from you this year." Yeah. So, I no mean, kidding, like, once you yeah. shoot them once, I mean, they're they're really really good. Yep. And then last to cover is this wall of 200 gram cakes. And one thing I noticed right away is you've got one of my favorite 200 gram cakes of all time right here. Yeah, oh that yeah. thing yeah. makes the wildest sound yeah. I've ever heard. Those, these two used to be my two favorite ones when I was growing up. I like, yeah. I love those two cakes. Uh, I mean, it's it's crazy how I mean. I heard this for the first time and I couldn't even believe but it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, how have we created a firework <laughs> that can make this That's, sound? Yeah, exactly. And I've always wanted to take one apart and see how they do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, some you, some guys from the PGI tried to explain it to me in the comments, but you know I'm not really a builder, so right, yeah, and they're exactly. trying to tell me how it makes that sound, like it spins really fast. Yeah, and, Ned Gorski yeah. will have the answer to that. Yeah, for sure <laughs> yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Ned. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, cool. I, I watch some of his stuff. It's pretty mm -hmm. fascinating. I mean, you just never think like some of these metals and stuff. I mean, just uh, just and some of mm -hmm. these components, uh, it's just unbelievable. Wild mushroom, bling bling. So, lots of brothers. Yeah, gram lots cakes. of brothers, 200 gram cakes, and then we'll get Stop into. And go. I've done that one before. Yeah, did you like that one? It's pretty good. I, I have shot quite a few of these. Almost too many to remember what each one. Have does. you had Mobile Menace? <laughs> um, I can't recall. That's a. If that's I a great if one I've one shot there. it before, it was probably at a demo. Yeah, yeah. Because they demo a lot of brothers up in North Dakota. Gotcha. A lot of okay. Carry yeah, it. yeah. Um, and then Sin City. The label on this one is bizarre. Moves yeah, they around. started doing like that. Yeah, you probably hundred. can't see it on. Well, you kind of can. Yeah. And this one too has the same thing. That's really cool. That would definitely catch your eye. Definitely. Going down the aisles. Uh, road trip was really good. I remember shooting uh, that one off. Yeah, yeah. And then one of my favorite ones is the old school cowboy. If you notice, like the rewrap yep. on the artwork. This one. Was, this is, is twenty-five older, shot crackles, right? Uh, twenty-five shot uh, color mines uh, oh. as well, uh, red, white, and blue, and then you get a crackle for now. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I just want to highlight some of the prices here real quick. So like road trip there. I'll just grab a couple of the ones that I've shot. What was, how much is this one? Uh, stop and go. I believe we have a 1995. Yeah. Okay. It's right around that price range there, for just yeah. about Yeah, I mean, most of all of them, them are, um, you know, I mean, bear, a lot of them we, during the season we'll do at like 1495, mm -hmm. uh, you know, come down. Well, and again, them. let's just remind everyone, like it, it was a very crazy year this <laughs> yeah. year. And yes. so yeah. I with mean, only limited amount of stock left, yeah. you're kind of forced. It's hard. To, yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah, uh, that's what we did. And it's not just you. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. everybody. Yeah. So I mean, we it's had like to every reprice store. everything because of, I mean, like when you said you were gonna come, I mean, I was in full blown panic because it's like yeah, like we, oh god, are we gonna have yeah, enough? <laughs> like we have like the largest variety in the front range area, and then like not to have that, mm -hmm. it was like crap. Like I don't well, know. I gotta say, I'm really <laughs> impressed with your store. I mean, you know, given that this is what you have left, this is really good. Yeah, I mean, so it was. A, I mean, quite spent, a bit. We spent like probably 15 days after the fourth, like restocking. I mean, like third and the fourth. Like just imagine this store. Mm -hmm. is bare shelves i mean like oh, there's yeah, like i mean and there's a two-hour wait to get in yeah well you said the line was going up to the gas station up yeah the so the line like our cash our cashiers are over there yeah so we had a line wrapped all the way around and funneled back into the store and then outside to the loves just either trying to get in or check yeah out. and mean, that's over the overpass yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's you can yeah, imagine I mean, yeah and it was two hours i mean it was just nuts yeah and you guys are right off the interstate too. It's very easy to get here. I was yeah. actually surprised. Like I first, I turned right, and the McDonald's is right there. And then I was like, "Oh, wholesale fireworks is literally right on the other side." Yeah, it's yeah, overpass. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> now, these ones here in particular, these are like mini zipper cakes, I like to call them. Uh, yes. Where basically you're either going to get a slow pace all the way through or it kind of goes rapid, rapid fire. fire. Yep. But really fun. A lot of fun. Um, a lot of people I know use these as openers in their show yeah. where they'll put it, like three or four spread out. It's a tremendous, those are tremendous yeah. openers. I mean, that's what a lot of people, I mean, 200 gram cakes, to be quite honest, I mean, I think some of them are better than some of the 500 gram cakes. But I absolutely agree. Yeah, I, mean, I couldn't you, agree more. You just, you don't think it. Part of the reason for that, and just based on personal experience, since I do a lot of 200 gram and a lot of 500 gram on my channel, I think part of the reason for that is because the 200 grams, they always break closer to your yeah, ears. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, it's like a higher decibel, yeah, I think is yeah. what it is. You, yeah, you do have, yeah. I mean, especially like some of our really loud percussion ones. I mean, like you can, that's what I really liked about some of the Maelstrom, like some of the shells this year too, even though like they were, you know, they're mm -hmm. shells obviously, but I mean, like it just felt like they were just so bright, vivid, just right next to you. Um, yep. But yeah, I mean, it all depends on like where you're shooting. The truck, yeah. I great. love that. <laughs> yeah, that's got some crackling mines. Um, uh, that, that's, a, that's a very good one. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Rage has like that silver spinner that I really like, uh, bursts into uh, some nice true blues in that, uh, as well as um, like some uh, some peachy color. So that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a really good one. Then we have like our one inch, um, I really yep, like the mini Noabs. <laughs> yeah, I really, really like um, the United We Ride. That yep. is, uh, we had a the cutting edge one. I believe we still have in Laramie, but it's called Score, Skull Force. It's a forty one okay. shot. Oh, that's got some weight. It's got to some it too. really nice titanium ones or titanium willows uh, for mm -hmm. uh, for to start off and then to to conclude. Um, yeah, and those are uh, everybody's kind of doing it's that. kind of an exclusive willow cake brocades and stuff. The the Skull Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's very similar to this. This is just the yep. 42 shots. They put uh, some more um, effects into the United Re-Ride as the Skull Force does, so. Cool. So I just want to briefly show you guys all the stuff we picked up. I'm not going to show too much right away because we want to do unboxings and individual videos on all this good stuff. But stay tuned because as you can see, we've got a lot of videos on the way. I'm going to go ahead and sign this box because these shells are Cody B approved. So one of you lucky guys gonna get a signed box there's no gimmicks in this <laughs>